Want to bet? Yep. Then get into the action at Sports Interaction. Whatever your sport, Sports Interaction has you covered. Bet pregame, in-game, or on one of the many unique prop bets. Head to sportsinteraction.com slash SDBN. Or in Ontario, download the app now using our QR code at the bottom of the screen. 19 plus, please play responsibly. What happened with the lightning uh, over the weekend directly affects them because that's going to be their first round matchup. And Saturday, the lightning play the Buffalo Sabres. They lose. Not great. Nope. In that loss, John Cooper benches Stamkos, benches Point, benches Kucherov. Point. This is what John Cooper says about that benching. Um, well, you know, as coaches, you got to put your team in the best position to win. Like, you know, 99.9% of the time, those guys give us the best chance to, to win when they're on the ice. We just felt in the third period, uh, they weren't giving us the best chance to win. And... You know, this, this team's been unbelievable for a decade, and, and you, know, you take the three finals, well, there's a reason a lot of that's happened. We have a set of standards here that everybody adheres to, and it's not pick and choose, it's everybody. And so um, it's, uh, it's how it was for today. And like I said, those, those guys are an extremely important part of our team, but, you know, for 20 minutes tonight, it was... Uh, thought the other guys could get it done and you know what they almost did you, you talk so much about the faith that you have in the world so that's such a key point is they did almost come back yeah. in that game and as a result cooper was getting praise for that you know what i thought the other guys could get it done and they almost did and people are going look at john cooper experienced coach been around the block he knows what he's doing great job and they follow it up with probably their worst game of the entire season. It was brutal. A 6 nothing loss to Carolina on Sunday afternoon. And if you watched any part of that game, none of it was close. They had four shots after 40. Yeah. It was I'd like they didn't show up for the game at all. And I wonder, is it a message to the head coach? Being like, you don't think we're good enough? Look at us play. Uh, like I, I think they're too much of a competitors to do that, but it's always in the back of my mind. It's like, hey, are they not showing up because they're upset at John Cooper? I, oh boy. You got to show up with a certain fire in your belly. Like, it's isn't it funny that Eric Lindros talked about this a week ago? He talked about this less than a week ago, sitting in that chair right over there. The coach always looks like a genius. You, It's a win-win. Either the players show up or they don't, and you were right for benching them. He wasn't right about that, though. He wasn't right about that because it's either the players show up uh, and you're the reason they showed up, or they stink. And it's like, well, of course he benched them. They stink. He benched three players we know don't stink. Yep. And they stunk, and now they still stink. So now whose problem, whose fault is that? Then, right? Listen, none of us expect Kutrov, Stamkos, and Point to be bad for long. They'll probably come back next game, win 8 <laughs> 1. We'll see. They play uh, Philly on Tuesday, tomorrow night. I mean, is that what the doctor ordered or what? Exactly. You know what I mean? Um, but they've lost, is it five in a row? Uh, let me double check. I don't think it's in a row. A couple in overtime. They haven't been doing well. They've allowed a lot of goals for a team with like Victor Hedman and Andre Vasilevsky, and now Hedman's hurt. Only two in a row. They are two, five, and three in their last ten, though. Okay, good enough. Good enough. You know what I mean. Now, weirdly, because the Lightning are just wired differently than every other team, if Hedman is out, it might actually help them just because when guys get hurt, the Lightning tend to... It's almost like a fuck you to nature. Like, like they're just like, all right, you think you can hold us down? No, we're going to win with two guys you've never heard of. Yeah. Ah! They look at it as a challenge. They, they look at it as a challenge, and they've rose to the occasion each and every year. Right? Each and every time uh, that that happens. But, uh, you know, they talk. you talk about teams peaking at the wrong time. They're uh, shit in the bed at the wrong time. No regulation wins no wins in their last seven so they have 
two one. So what do you call that? Two. It's a losing streak. They have two OT losses, so they have two points in their last seven. That's brutal. Last win came uh, February twenty first versus Anaheim. It was a six one win. That's got to be their worst stretch of hockey. Uh, no, they uh, they beat Detroit uh, on the twenty fifth. My bad. Okay. So there you go. But that's got to be their worst stretch of hockey in like what four years? Oh yeah. It's not great. It's pretty bad. I, because John Cooper has has a reason to do this, right? They're not playing well. Those three, those three yeah. stars. He's trying to get them going. Does this hurt? I, I assume it doesn't hurt their confidence because they are star players. They'll bounce back. Does this bode well for the Leafs to see this their opponents reeling at this late in the season? I think it helps show that the beast bleeds, sort of thing. You know what I mean? Um, it's a reminder because I mean, you know, we we just spent you know the last segment killing the Leafs, right? But it's a reminder they're not the only team that goes through this. They're not the only team that struggles, and the Lightning are struggling right now. And it's it's more than they're just losing games and they're not finding ways to win. Like they're getting crushed. Yeah. They're getting, the Carolina Hurricanes crushed them. Like that's a statement, right? And, you know, second half of a back to back. Was it in Carolina? Must have been. Yes. Right. Yeah. So it's a statement game, a little bit of a little bit of a fuck you, a little bit of uh, the Hurricanes taking advantage. Uh, of a tired team. Uh, the Lightning are wired so weird, though. Because, like, maybe they're like, ah, fuck it. We'll give you this game. We'll go for a little public skate. You know, we're not there to please your fans. And we'll, we'll you know what? It's March 5th. You... Take your two points. Go be fat and happy some, somewhere else. <laughs> and we'll we'll be back in the spring to fuck up your good time. I want... Because they, they know how to turn it on any moment. When they want to, they can be amazing. And I wonder if, yeah, they come with that mentality on a Sunday afternoon where it's like, we don't need to wake up for this. The 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 hockey news uh, people of power and influence for the third or fourth straight year have omitted the most influential person in hockey over the last half decade. Keenan Thompson. Why? Why is Keenan Thompson supposed to be on that list? Because the Tampa Bay Lightning got embarrassed by the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yeah. They had a couple months to let that fester and get over it. You mean when they got swept yep. as the President's Trophy winners? Yep. I believe. Yeah. And then at the NHL Awards, Keenan Thompson embarrassed them in front of oh, all yeah? of their peers. <laughs> and they were Why do not, you remember those? They were not in on the joke. Remember that? Mm -mm. You don't remember that? No. He made fun of them. Okay. And they were not, they weren't into it. They were not playing along. They were not playing ball. And they, from that moment on, they said, all right, fuck you <laughs> to the entire <laughs> league. Won back-to-back -back cups, yeah. uh, triple Stanley Cup final yeah. in a row. And they might just do four. Like, I, they're, you know, the, the Tanner Janot trade is illogical. Mm-hmm. Any other team makes that trade, we make fun of them. But it's the Lightning, and we're all afraid to because it might just work. It's interesting to see some cracks in a team that has been so good over the last three years. So I don't know if anything comes of it. Like, I don't know if we get to the Leafs-Lightning first round, game one, and we still, we're still like, oh, what's going on with Tampa? Like, I think they probably turn around in the next probably. four weeks as we lead up to the playoffs. But... It's something to watch. Yeah. It's very interesting to see John Cooper speaking out like John Cooper making headlines during the regular season in moments like this. I don't know. It's something to watch. It's far more noteworthy that they've been bad for the better part of a month than they had a bad couple days. Mm -hmm.